Hey, what's happening, YouTube? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm having a great day. Why? Because we're talking plants, that's why. All right. We're doing ferns. I mean, I labeled it Java fern, which, yeah, we're going to do, but we're going to do several of the ferns. Uh, and if you're new here, my name is Dustin. I'm doing all of this filming in the storage room in the basement under my stairs because... You know, my wife doesn't want aquariums all over the place. But anyway, welcome. And uh, for a chance, for a shout out in the future, drop a comment. Say hi. I don't care what you say. Uh, but remember, my kids watch this channel. So there we go. All right. So let me walk you through the scenario uh, of a beginner and your Java fern. So you start YouTubing beginner friendly plants. And you're really stoked to see that. Java ferns are on there because you've already bought one and you put it in your tank or you waited for it to all the way die and then started looking it up and you're like, oh, it died. What do I do? Well, when you're looking up easy plants, everyone that says Java ferns are easy, that is a highly incorrect and arbitrary statement because anything is easy if you know what you're doing. And there are a lot of things that are left out. You'll hear that it is a low light, low tech plant, and it's easy. There we go. Toss it in your tank and you'll have success. There's several things that need to happen here. And I do want to point out, all of these came uh, from PetSmart. Shout out to the manager, Colin, of the aquarium area who gave these to me for this video, uh, for this demonstration, because uh, he knows what I'm going to point out on here. Uh, so, there are several things that need to happen all right, so there are several steps that we... Well, uh, all right, so there are several things we need to do first. We don't just toss it in there. We need to inspect these. And I grabbed a Borneo fern because I wanted to show all the ferns are the same uh, and what happens in this. African water fern or bulbitis. And then, of course, Java fern. And if you look here, it's like nearly dead. But I wasn't using it to plant it. I need to show you guys something. And let's take a look real fast on the instructions that it gives you. So I'll read it off and you'll see. Remove tape from top of container. All right. I wouldn't have done that. I would have just tossed it in as is. Gently tilt tube and allow plant to carefully slide out. Man, I'm really glad they mentioned that. Because I was considering tossing this out the window until it exploded open. Uh, remove plant from gel. Rinse up. Okay, so they're just really good at pointing out the obvious. So here's something they don't tell you. Uh, well, secondly, always check to make sure it says aquatic because there are some that say semi-aquatic. And it's the same at PetSmart and Petco. And I choose these stores for beginners because there are 1,700 locations more than any other pet store lo uh, retailer in the United States. You're going to come across these plants. All right, real quick, I wanted to show you what a mature Java fern looks like when it has grown all the way uh, from beginning to end underwater. It grows like a vine. You can see a bunch of leaves coming off of it. All right, and this started from a seedling I pulled off one of the leaves uh, when I had bought a plant two years ago. Uh, the seedlings are what's going to make it. Your plant will die. You're waiting for it to grow a little baby off one of the tips, and that's the one that had, that was born in your water conditions and will start doing this. But a long time. Six months, three to six months before you even get the baby, and then two years from then before it starts growing a long rope. Now look at the massacre I'm about to show you in this newly purchased Java Fern. Let's check out what the Java Fern has in store for us. Oh, gently slide it out. <laughs> Tell me if you see anything unusual about these roots. No? Bunch of black roots? That's exactly the problem. All right. Gently sliding it out. Cool. All right. So, different leaves. Got our little bundle of gelatin. Uh, oh, by the way, there's a huge warning on the back. 
Caution, not for human consumption. Wash your hands and do not eat the gel. Okay. Oh, right. Yeah. It it does look like jello. I'm just kidding. It doesn't say do not eat the gel specifically, but it does say do not eat. Because it's hazardous. So look. Some roots. We got a bush. Wrong. Here we go. This one is even worse. Let me see if I can. Right there. See it? Oh, I broke it. All right, so what the string essentially is what I'm saying is it suffocates your plant and stops it from gaining any nutrients whatsoever. Um, and this one has actually already started growing babies. Now, they tie these together like this so they'll fit in the packages uh, because these ferns grow like a vine. Um, and so what they do is they pre-propagate it. They take that vine, snip between each leaf, and then tie them all together. Oh, criminy. Come on. See that this one? This was worse. Did they just have a angry employee that day. Just <laughs> or do these actually? You think like go through a machine? I can't even think about the terrors some of these plants may go. Th Look at this. Look at that. Just a, a leaf. Cool. All right. So, see, I will show you. This is all right. So bear with me. Use your imagination. This would be a rhizome. And then here would be another rhizome. And then another rhizome. See what I'm doing? I'm building a vine and the leaves come off of it. They snip between each one, you know, to make several plants. And I actually don't like this because...